And here's Riley Green. One they swung at, they've missed. And a 1 1 to Green. Veto was begging for it. That's 2 2 home. And a ground ball to the right side. Grissom has it. And makes the play for the out that ends it at eight consecutive strikeouts, tying an all time Red Sox record. I don't know if we've ever been more here. It's everybody. Here's Canna, the first man he fan. One down, base is empty. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> that was ended the game with it. Aaron Nola, the other guy. A ground ball up the middle near the bag. Grissom, another play. Two down. Shell has struck out looking his first time. Good luck. As you get ahead, you always got a chance to punch somebody out. Like there was ever any doubt about that. As it's punch fouled out of play. And then the Red Sox Hall of Fame. A little bit of a quick pitch and a fly out to right field. Abreu with space out there and he'll haul it in. The great Dustin Pedroia when we return to Fenway Park. You know, anytime I get a chance to come back and, and just, you know, see out, it was a, it was a, you know, I loved every second of my career. Year olds on the team, which one of them's my son, uh, and then the rest are 12. So we're a 12U team, and then I have a 10U team. Now back at Fenway as we move on to the fifth inning, that one torched by Keith, but a foul down the right field line. Cole Keith, one of the eight consecutive strikeout victims of Nick Pivetta, the Red Sox Hall of Fame class of 2024. Red Sox, and number one, the pitch times. Sunday night games, four and a half, five hours. Fly ball pretty well hit. Duran on the run though to fill the gap. On the track to make the catch. And and just the the way the game sped up. I mean, heck, you're dropping the we game had by so 45. Many. It's not fair. As this one's drilled, that one hitting for the wall, high up to the monster. That ball gets out of here. The home run. Badu with a homer, and that becomes the first hit of the ball game. In a game that is flying by, here in the fifth inning, makes it one to nothing. And the Tigers on the board first here. Akil Badu and his first home run. Yeah, first hit by either team. It's been real. I mean, this thing's been flying because the pitching's been as good as it has been, but that ball's touched to left. Uh, uh, Badu just got called up from Toledo yesterday for that double This header. is the moment I would point to. Uh, Not real defensively, and then I remember my game seven of the ALCSs that was good on a backup play. Oh, good. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah. But that's just how you played the game. Blow your thumb out. <laughs> yeah. Blow yeah. His, his UCL out and his thumb. Doctors tell him, hey, yeah, you need surgery 10 weeks, eight, 10 weeks, you're going to miss. And you said, yeah, watch this, bud. Yeah. Played 160, went to an all star game, won a World Series, duck that, boat. I'm going to try to hold on to it. And uh, I've had some opportunity. Air conditioning was not working in the clubhouse. What a shock, right? Yeah, run. And the guys are like, dude, you had no shot at that. Love it. Committed, <laughs> committed to it. I've already committed. Even yeah. before he hit it, yeah. yeah. A little ground ball to second. Try, uh, always a pleasure, man, and congratulations. Moving on to the sixth inning. And a first-rate pitcher. After the injuries in St. Louis, not, not looking like himself the last few years. Out nine. Kelly will sting a line drive. That's going to drop down to Bray who trying to cut it. And it gets by him and keeps on rolling. And so does Kelly. Rounding second. He's on his way to third. He will stop there. Boy, we've seen that happen at Fenway Park. You get right up against that sidewall and you've got to be perfect. Yeah, things can get a little sketchy down that line. We've seen it through the years. We have not seen this from William Abreu. He's been so steady out there and right and played a really good right field at Fenway, which is tough. But you watch this one. He gets that glove. He gets to the ball, and it's almost, I don't know if he took his eye off the ball and looked up at the wall, what, but it sneaks right under the glove past him. That's a lonely feeling because there's a lot. 2-2, two, two, and left that one. There nobody out. Man, a 3-2. 3-2, and a fly ball into right field, lining it up the strong arm to Breu. Kelly will not try and score as the throw comes in. He will hold a third. Yeah, Williams got an absolute cannon out there in right. And the you know this course. That cost the Red Sox the other night. It didn't work the other night in Baltimore, though. That's bounced up there, knocked down by him. Step. 1-1 one, one, popped up into foul ground. Cooper ranging over near the dugout and can't quite get 
to it. One two and a line drive at a base hit in center field. That'll bring in a run. Kelly will score. Green up to second. Two to nothing. Here's Urshela. 0 for two. Because he's got that. Can Canna on at first and fouled away. At us to this point, been throwing the ball well and left him in there. But I would have. One out, two one. And a 2 2 on the way. And a ground ball in the middle. Grissom will tap the bag for an out. He'll get two. So in the end, the Red Sox do get a big double play, but it remains. And Von Grissom trying to break that up. Um, he's only at 72 pitches as of this one. Throws Skipper, the 2 1. And that one headed toward the hole. Diving play by Torkelson. He'll throw to the pitcher close oh, and wow. got him. Nice play. Hamilton down in the sixth. Earlier tonight, a uniform member of the organization has a shot toward left center deep. Racing back green, getting under that long run, and he will run it down. Hamilton on a diving catch. Ken Coleman had the call on Red Sox radio. It's one of my favorite calls. Bat, and you go, oh, there it goes. Yes. And then somebody flies in. 2 2. 